Free science lessons. More on microscopy. You need to prepare your slide. If you want to look at the specimen under a light microscope, you need to put it on the microscope slide first. A slide is a strip of clear glass or plastic onto which the specimen is mounted. Here is how to prepare a slide to view onion cells. First, add a drop of water to the middle of a clean slide. Then, cut up an onion and separate it into layers. Use tweezers to peel off some epidermal tissue from the bottom of one of the layers. Using the tweezers, place the epidermal tissue into the water on the slide. After that, add a drop of iodine solution, a stain. Stains are used to highlight objects in the cell by adding colour to them. Finally, place a cover slip on top. To do this, stand the cover slip upright on the slide next to the water droplet. Then carefully tilt and lower it so it covers the specimen. Try not to get any air bubbles under there as it may obstruct your view of the specimen. Use a light microscope to look at your slide. To look at your prepared slides, you need to use a light microscope. First, Clip the slide you have prepared onto the stage, then select the lowest powered objective lens. Using the course adjustment knob, move the stage up to just below the objective lens. You should then look down the eyepiece. Using the course adjustment knob, move the stage downwards until the image is roughly in focus. After that, adjust the focus with the fine adjustment knob until you get a clear image of what is on the slide. Here is an example of what a light microscope may look like. Draw your observations neatly with a pencil. Draw what you see under the microscope using a pencil with a sharp point. Make sure your drawing takes up at least half of the space available and that it is drawn with clear, unbroken lines. If you are drawing cells, the subcellar structure should be drawn in proportion. As well as that, you should include the title of what you are observing and write down the magnification that was observed under. Finally, label the important features of your drawing using straight, uncrossed lines. You can measure the real size of the cells using a stage micrometer and an eyepiece graticule. You can work out the magnification of your drawing using this formula. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.